Alright, so hi guys. Um, so, I tried recording this video earlier, um, so, um, I, it did not go so well, um, so I'm redoing it, uh, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and, um, and actually do some square roots. Now, we want to simplify each of these square roots, um, so I just want to do this video just for those of you that, you know, do not know how to do these. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. So number one says the square root of 216. And I only want to go over four problems with these. Um, I'm only going to do three digit ones because they're um, not, I guess that they're mostly the highest that one goes. Um, but... Um, so here we have the square root of 216. We want to do a factor tree. So if you think about it, we have 216. We're going to divide it by 2. You always want to try to um, divide it by a number that you know the square root of. Um, I'm going to try to see if it's divisible by 4. So 216 divided by 4. We have 5. So let's not do this one. And then we will have... So 4 times 5 is 20, you subtract it out, and then you get 16. Um, and then we end up with 4 times 4, and we subtract 16 here, get 0. So we know that it's going to be 4 times 54. And then you do this again, so we have 2 times... And I'm sorry, no. 6 times 9, excuse me. So, usually you would go even further, but here, since you know the square roots of 9 and 4, you can we can stop here. We're going to grab these, square, we, these numbers here, so really the square root of 216 is going to equal the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 times the square root of 9. So you're going to make all of these square into square roots, right? So... You're going to go ahead and just, it's going to go 2, so this one is 2, times the square root of 6, right? That stays the way it is. And then times the square root of 9, the square root of 9 is 3. So we know that this is equal to 2 times 3 times the square root of 6. And then we can clearly see that this is going to equal 6 times the square root of 6. And that should be your final answer. It doesn't matter how you break it up, guys. Um, in reality, you can get all the numbers. Um, you know, it you can you can try to factor it completely, like find all the all the factors of two sixteen. Um, as long as you understand the properties of square roots. So let's go ahead and. But this is the easiest way we can do it. You always want to try to find a number that you can take the square root of that goes into the number inside of this square root. I hope that makes sense. So let's look at number two. The number two says the square root of 2, 52. Now we're going to go ahead and try to do this again. So um, just looking at this, let's try to see if it's divisible by, <clears throat> by 4. So we have 4 here. So 4 times 6 is 24, we get 12 here, 63. So we can clearly do 4 times 63. And then we can go a little further, so we have 9 times 7. And we know that this is where we can stop, because we have two numbers that we know the square root of. We have the 4 and we have the 9. <clears throat> In reality, you can do the square root of 4 times 9 times 7, like this. So grab these 3, and then just do, this is equal to the square root of 4 times 9 times the square root of 7, which is the square root of 36, times the square root of 7, which is 6 square root of 7. Again, guys, there's many ways to do this. It doesn't matter as long as you don't... Try not to break it up too much, because... That's just a lengthier way to do it. 
um, try to make it so that they're try to see if they're divisible by numbers you know the square root of. Okay, so let's move on to number three. Number three says the following, the square root of 728. So let's grab this. And we're going to do, so it's going to be 8. So let's do, I think we can do 8 and 91. Um, and then we can also do, let's see here, 2 and 4. So now, um, let me just go ahead and try to see here really quick, guys, if I have this correct. Um, hold on, guys. This was the square root of 728. I believe I do have it correct. Let's just go ahead and go with this. Um, this is going to be... The square root of 2 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 91. So this is equal to 2 times the square root of 91 times 2. Because, because 4 is equal to square root of 2. Four, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. And then we have inside the square root we have a 91 as well as a 2. So we can do it this way. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and put this in here. So in reality, this is going to give us, um, this is going to give us um, 2 times the square root of 182, I think. Um, if I am wrong with this, guys, let me know. I'm pretty sure I'm correct. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I do think that's the answer there. So this would be the answer for this one. Okay, guys, and then the last one, I think there was one more here. The square root of 512. So number four, this is the last one we're going to do. I did want to do one with four digits, but it's way too long, guys, and I don't want to make the video too long. Or confuse y'all. Um, so here we're gonna go ahead and just do, just do, um, so again, if you think about it, you wanna see, and this is for those of you that don't have a calculator. If you don't, if you can't use a calculator for these, it's this is the good, a good method to do it with. Just divide it by a, by a number you can take the square root of. Um, so four times two is eight. We have 32, so we have 4 and 128, right? And um, and then we're just going to do it again. So again, if you think about it, if you know how to divide numbers in your head, that's great. If not, you can always just do it this way. Again, you want to try to divide it by 4. So you have times 3 and then, you know, minus 12 and then 8. So notice how I'm using numbers that, again, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to divide it by 4. And since it's divisible, I can do, I can use that, right? Um, so here, we're going to go ahead and just do this. So, And of course, this was like this. And so then we can clearly see that this is this, uh, 4 times 32. Do it again, so 4 times 8, do it again, 4 times 2. Now look at all these 4s, right? We have all these different 4s here. Now we can say this is equal to the square root of 4 times 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 the square root of 2. So you notice that all these numbers... I'm putting them into multiple square roots, like this, right? And then times the square root of 2. So we're doing this, and then finally, we're just going to go ahead and take do the, the square root of each. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times the square root of 2. This is 4 
and then this is times 4, and then times the square root of 2. So you notice that I'm just multiplying at this point, and then this is just going to end up giving me 16 square root of 2. And this is our final answer for this one. Um, so with that being said, guys, um, I know this is kind of a pretty fast video, if anything. Um, but that is the main process. You want to find numbers that you know you can take the square root of. So divide, divide the actual number by a number that you know you can take the square root of and then just keep going that way. And since these all four I could take the square root of, I was able to do that. And so I just did it separately and then multiplied by the number that was left over, which was 2, so it was times square root of 2. And then finally we ended up with 16 square root of 2. So if, if you are confused by this video, guys, just rewatch it. Um, and if y'all have any other questions, y'all can let me know. But um, with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for this video. And um, thank y'all so much for watching. And please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.